shit, here's a turbo. Oh. No, no! <laughs> A couple pages of a to-do list for the car what's left to do recently we bled the clutch and connected the clutch line we also had to put a shim so we already did that we're making the power steering line it was getting back Sadly, I had the footage of us knocking off a good bit of that list, but my flash drive was no longer reading. So I was able to salvage a few pictures here and there from posting off of Instagram. Lost a headlight. <laughs> Should here's a turbo. Oh. No, no. So what happened was we bled the brakes and I left the wrench still on the bleeder valve. And when the tire turned at one of those points, it 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 broke the valve loose again and that's all she wrote Elevate your company. Something like that. Some turbo manipulation here so it can sit higher and let gravity do its work for the oil return. Z Turbos are off for some welding. The pipe for this turbo has been rewelded. Now it can be wrapped and thrown back on. This is the replacement turbo for the passenger side. The V-band's been welded on there, so it can be officially swapped out. This is the passenger side turbo that was currently on. It still needs to be re-welded so the turbo can sit higher. This is what we're working with right now. So, a new distribution block or a, 
has been put on for the brakes. So the brakes have to be rebled again. And we have to fix a power steering leak. Then once that's done and things are buttoned back up, the car should be good for its dyno day. The alternator hadn't been charging. So we're gonna put the truck alternator on and see if that works. Maybe there's an issue with this one. This one tested good at O'Reilly's. All right, got the car up on the lift. I'm gonna use some bands to secure the fuel lines. Now that's better. We're getting down to the last final hours. Power steering should be fixed now. And these turbos need some air filters, which I got a piece of four inch straight and some couplers. And that should get our filters on. Well, I got the size I need, air filter here, and couplers cut and it's ready for the air filter. Turbos have officially been raised. Temporarily have the air filters on. This side I'm gonna get a 90, which will bring it down up front right here. This side may be good as is, but I can get a 90 just to make it match. Radiator has been bled and filled. Some little additions for the tailpipe are now added. Uh, this is a Possibly temporary setup until we run it through the fenders again, but this was the quickest option and way to go for now. We should be good. <laughs> 